Baltic states and Poland may deploy troops to Ukraine if Russia succeeds. The Baltic states and Poland do not rule out sending their troops to Ukraine if Russia succeeds on the battlefield, reports German media The Spiegel. According to Spiegel, Baltic MPs warned representatives of the German government about the consequences of Berlin's policy towards the Ukraine war on the sidelines of the Lennart Meri Conference on Foreign and Security Policy, which took place in the Estonian capital last week. Germany refuses to provide the Ukrainian army with long-range weapons and prohibits the Ukrainian armed forces from striking Russian territory with Western weapons. They argue that if the Russians manage to make a strategic breakthrough in eastern Ukraine because the West is only half-heartedly helping Kyiv, the situation could escalate dramatically. In that case, the Baltic states and Poland would not wait for Russian troops to deploy on their borders. Baltic politicians warned but would send troops to Ukraine themselves. And it was clear that this would mean NATO would become a party to the war, the article says. As Spiegel explains, this is exactly the scenario that German Chancellor Olaf Scholz and US President Joe Biden fear. Those who want to limit the war through excessive restraint actually risk getting it out of control, the media says. French President Emmanuel Macron was the first to voice the possibility of sending Western troops to Ukraine. But Macron's idea was supported only by the Baltic states and Poland, while the rest of NATO countries, including Germany, criticized the French leader's statement. Recently, the New York Times reported that NATO was discussing the possibility of sending military instructors to Ukraine to train soldiers. Currently, NATO troops are training Ukrainian soldiers abroad. President Volodymyr Zelensky also voiced the idea of deploying NATO instructors to Ukraine. He explained that this could speed up the training of the Ukrainian military as they would not have to be sent to Poland, Germany or Britain. At least 18 people, including four children, were killed after severe storms struck Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri and Kansas over the weekend. Some 25 tornadoes were reported in the five central states. Seven people died and more than 100 were injured in Texas, Governor Greg Abbott said at a news conference on Sunday evening, adding that 106 counties in Texas were under disaster declarations. The severe weather in the state destroyed 200 homes or structures and damaged another 120. In North Denton County in Texas, a possible tornado injured an unknown number of people, damaged several homes, overturned 18-wheelers, downed trees and knocked out power lines on Saturday night, authorities said early Sunday. At least eight people died in Arkansas, prompting Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders declare a state of emergency Sunday afternoon to support the severe weather and tornado-ravaged parts of the state. One person died in Kentucky, according to Louisville Mayor Craig Greenberg. In northeast Oklahoma, Two people were killed and 23 others were injured as a result of severe storms overnight, according to local officials. Severe storms are forecast to move toward the east coast on Monday, bringing disruptive high winds and large hail from D.C. through the southeast. The most intense storms are expected across parts of Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, northern Tennessee and the southwestern edge of Ohio, where there is an enhanced risk of damaging winds hail and tornadoes. Dude, I'm sending away for the...